to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video, I need to uh, discuss GDX. I haven't discussed GDX. A lot of people are interested in uh, looking at where gold stocks are standing. And I'm also going to update my wave analysis of gold. Uh, I do understand a lot of people like the labeling, it, so I will try to label it. And there's a little change as well, so we'll discuss both of that. And we are going to discuss gold uh, traded as CFD uh, itself, the metal, the bullion metal. And then we're going to discuss uh, GDX, which is uh, gold mining index as well. So it's going to be pretty useful, especially with GDX. There's a uh, very good information, and you don't want to skip it. I'm not going to add anything else into uh, into this video. If you are looking for a more detailed video on uh, other instruments as well, I've already published it. You guys can watch it. So let's go. First of all, uh, let's take uh, take a take a little revision. Now, as per the uh, the labeling, I'm considering that there is uh, a possibility that uh, we can take this whole price movement starting from this one as wave one, and this whole price movement as wave two. I'm yet not ready for the prices to go all the way down right over here. Some analysts are actually forecasting that, and they are looking for the uh, the prices to balance uh, on top of this trend line probably. But I'm not willing uh, to do that. I do not expect for the prices to pull back right all over here or uh, sit on this trend line either as well. So I'm right now expecting that this level which I have been discussing for a while and uh, in I mean last week that this level is really important and that level we are going to stick to it which is uh, on available on our hourly time frame and we can stick to that. And that level is right over here. Okay. So this level, this uh, support level, as you guys can see, a lot of support level has uh, price action has happened around this area, right over here, over here, over here, and uh, we were expecting for the prices to continue right all the way right from over here. I did mention that we were expecting a drop right now. Now all of this drop is uh, initially we thought we were trying to match it with this price movement, but now I think this drop is matching with much clearly with this price movement. We can consider this as a three wave price movement another three wave price movement and we have a five wave structure downward and right now I'm expecting for the prices to carry on uh, in the wave third uh, wave three of three and the whole reason I'm focusing on this price movement is this price movement is going to be eruptive a uh, very volcanic kind of behavior behavior that we have seen in the stock market recently on the on the bearish side and this is expected to be on the bullish side and I'm expecting we are going to see very very strong bullish price action in gold and in silver I'm not discussing silver but I did just want to mention it uh, so this is it to it and we are gonna see where three is ended um, way deep way further deep uh, so you can actually look at how further deep wave three can is from uh, just by looking at wave one so this is the update I wanted to bring into you guys I'm not looking for the prices to go further down and this is an important uh, distinction uh, we are not looking for the prices to go down once again, whole lot of focus stays on 1890, and this is very important price level, uh, as, and we cannot we cannot ignore that stuff. So it brings us to a smaller wave one, and a smaller wave two of this three wave. All right, so we have a smaller wave one and a smaller wave two completing soon of this particular three, and then expanded flat as well. Also giving us an indication that the price movement upward would be eruptive. Let's have a quick look on uh, GDX, and here is here is GDX, and a lot of people are probably expecting for the prices to go further down. I'm afraid it's not going to happen. This is the best pullback that we can have, and it's going to on. Uh, this price movement is good enough for GDX. If we if we are lucky, honestly, to see this pullback that we have seen in GDX, and I'm not expecting for GDX to continue this one. Labeling should be a little clear. I'm expecting that we are completed this as wave one. I'm not ready to consider this any other wave, and I'm considering this whole pullback as wave two. And in as we have seen in the stock market, in some of the in certain uh, cases, we wave three itself does not subdivide, and the the rush of the funds actually make sure that we see a volcanic price action. And that's what exactly we are going to see in GDX as well. For example, if you guys can go ahead and take a look at, at the chart uh, patterns of uh, stock uh, Dow Jones and S&P 500, there's a clear difference 
uh, and that's what we are seeing right now let me bring that back so in S&P we can see that on a daily time frame that we have seen one and two and a smaller one and two and then uh, wave three of three was adaptive while on uh, Dojon itself we did not see that all right we did not see that on a very overly time frame but we cannot dis discuss it for the subdivision we only saw wave one and two and then we have seen eruptive uh, price movement and that's what I'm expecting here in GDX2 that we're not going to see a smaller price movement and go up and give us a pullback and then go up eruptively no I'm expecting that we since we already have wave one and wave two a lot more deep depth uh, study is included is needed in case you guys are in, uh, in wondering what gives uh, when we are looking at that why all of a sudden we won't see a subdivision of wave 3 and we will see a, a very strong price action there are some special cases and you'll find out if you spend enough time on the charts so wave 1 and wave 2 and a stronger price movement is expected upward in GDX and this is what the important point I wanted to bring in and once again the uh, the support level which is 3560 or 3570 is very very important for GDX and a lot of people are probably interested in buying uh, GDX now uh, since that they have already seen the the crash happening so wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye